One of the hot issues in this country, and especially here for us here in Arizona and Pinal County, is the immigration crisis. Um, you know, I always talk about it as a sheriff, as opposed to you know bringing the politics into it. I think that uh, politics aside, this is an issue with human rights. You know, how people are being treated by the cartels. And then the overwhelming impact it's having on our communities, not just here in Arizona and in Pinal County, but across this country. Um, we are seeing an exorbitant amount of people coming through this, these borders unfettered. They're not being checked for COVID. They're not being checked for other diseases such as scabies or TB. Um, and not to mention the drugs that are coming into this community. Last year, you know, tragically, we had 754 deaths, I believe, from COVID. During that same time frame, we had about 700, almost 800 overdoses. Now, fortunately, everybody didn't die, but that's the impact that bringing these drugs, these dangerous drugs like methamphetamine and fentanyl and heroin into our communities. And so this is what we work hard to stop every day. And it is really hard to separate immigration from human trafficking and drug trafficking. The two virtually go hand in hand 100% of the time. And so when we talk about protecting our borders, protecting our community. It's really protecting ourselves from human trafficking, drug trafficking, and also protecting those people who are, who are trying to come here to make a better life, protect them from the cartels and being abused and used as pawns. I've lived in other countries and I've, I fully encourage anybody that wants to come to America to make a better life for themselves. There is a process in place for that. And it's not fair to those who've gone through the process to, for those who circumvent the process and do it illegally. The other fine line we walk is when we are willing, we're willing to turn a blind eye to a law over here and then continue to expect all Americans to, to follow the laws. It sets a bad precedence. It says that we as a government or the, our federal government is turning a blind eye to the rule of law and that is a dangerous thing for us. So this is not about a, you know, a humanitarian thing. I, I, I want people to be better. Um, people say, well, these are good people. Well, I know good people who've driven intoxicated and also gotten DUIs because it's against the law. Um, that's all we ask is that follow the rules so that we as a country can accept those people and we can do it in a way that it doesn't have a negative impact on our country and on our communities, on our children and on our future. You know, uh, Pinal County is 60 miles off the border and that's down on the south end of our county, 60 to 70 miles off the border. Uh, but we actually have a lot of trafficking that comes through here because we have the I-8 and the I-10 corridor. And because of where we are on, you know, positioned on the south end, we have a Native American reservation that actually extends into Mexico. We have always, you know, historically gotten a lot of trafficking and we continue to get more trafficking through that through that area right into our county. Um, we have in the last two months, I think we've had over 40 pursuits where people have run from us and then bailed out of the vehicle into the desert. Um, so yeah, it has an impact on our county. The good thing is, is that most people that come here don't stay here and the drugs are not designed to stay here either. We do get the impact, but a lot of that is designed to go throughout America. So. For, it, for those of us who know people who live in other states and other cities across this country, um, it impacts them and they need to understand that. It's not just a Pinal County or an Arizona problem.